Good afternoon, Collective. I am back with another message to give to, I actually got a couple, um, but I have received it um, this morning. There was a female, there is a female um, energy that is in my energy line. And uh, she is also uh, replying back to the masculines that was in my energy last night. Um, and the song that was channeled was Damage from Her, H-E-R. And uh, this female energy is contemplating if she can trust this masculine because she knows about the past hurt that has been, that has jaded her, uh, her love to open up to trust and believe in love again. Because this masculine has broken um, this female um, heart and, uh, the female energy she knows by opening up to loving this masculine he can do more more damage um than what he done to her before uh she op she's open uh to this masculine and expresses her true emotions that was genuine and authentic to him so she did uh express her emotions to this masculine and uh and yeah authentic to him too and uh he took her for granted this masculine has emotionally been cold and distant and non-expressive ex oh inv invested i'm sorry collective in their connection he has lied to this female energy and she healed from uh, she healed from it um yeah uh his self-sabotaging energy she is willing to hear him out this masculine has added a great deal of um ten of wands that was given to me burdens and on this female's energy she's just ready to move on and not repeat with people or past lovers that was liars cheaters uh smooth talkers and manipulators so basically if this masculine don't speak up deuces to you and you will be forgotten Okay, so this is from this female's uh, energy to this masculine. Don't know if it's if it's if it's going to both of them or one of them, but she is she's definitely made up her mind. She also uh, is it's another feminine that is in my um, energy, and the song that I channeled from her was it came at ten thirteen this morning. Ariana Grande, Seven Rings. Okay. So, uh, people have been watching this particular fem feminine energy. Uh, this particular female energy is trying to see. Oh no, they're trying to see if she got the where she got the material things that she has, and that uh, she got all the attention from the public, which is the community. It could be her family, it could be her friends, social media. Uh, it could be that she has a platform. Um, they know that this female energy is destined for greatness and they are looking at her uh, necklace and her hair trying to see if it's hers or the style is pretty. But these people are in the background seeing this and talking amongst the haters, which is okay. Congratulate the haters because you need them. They they actually help to motivate and push forward, believe it or not, collective. Um if this female energy wants something, she is uh, independent and gets what she wants. Uh, she's confident within herself and is staying in her lane. She's not flashy. Uh, she knows her worth. So basically, this female that is well known in the community, like I said, it could be that she has a social media platform, whatever the case may be, if she's being led or she's being guided, or if this is her career, this is what she's supposed to do. Uh, can't nobody come in between that. And spirit is saying no man can put us under because what is what is hers is, hers is meant for her. And she's not a flashy person because uh, what I'm picking up in my energy is that this female um, energy is very independent. She's not codependent. She's not flashy. She don't she minds her business, but it's the people that's in the background that is in this female's energy or outside of her energy that that is gang stalking her. Okay, and I also got family included. So you, she has family and friends and lovers that are included 
Um, it doesn't necessarily mean like she is promiscuous or being with anybody. That's not what I'm feeling. It's just that the people of her past are watching her platform and they're looking at her and they're trying to, not all of them, but the ones that are females that are haters. <laughs> okay. And it could be masculines too that's hating on this female. If he is, the, I mean, he a whole Mitch. Like that's ridiculous. On, I mean, instead of you watching somebody elevate and do what they supposed to do, why don't you take the initiative of the doctrine that they are giving out and apply it within yourself so that you can move forward in life and be able to heal and build on your your uh, foundation from a sturdy foundation from the ground up. Don't wish or watch or project off of on this particular female that is, you know, she's just tunnel vision. She's all on her own. She's doing it on her own. She's not bothering nobody. She's minding her business. She's focused. She's goal oriented. And these people that are projecting by st gang stalking her on social media, um, using her platform to create some type of friction or chaos, you're not going to do anything but just reap what you sow. It's not going to even hit her. It's not going to bother her. And she doesn't even care about who it is. Um, honestly, she don't care nothing. Everybody is, is irrelevant to this particular uh, female because she's being led and guided. And she don't have time to be wasting trying to figure out who is who. And you are going to be uh, looked past and looked over anyhow because, I mean, you're not motivated. You're not doing anything for yourself. But at least you can do is take the doctrine that she has and apply it to yourself and make a change for yourself so you can stop watching other people progress and do better and you do better for yourself. How about that? That's one thing that you can do, collective or anybody that's in behind the collective, whether if it's females or males, family members or not. If you're not gonna come forth and speak truth and apply it in your life and live dramatic free, chaos free, conflict free, uh, you know, projections of low vibrations towards this female energy, you're not it's it's not bothering her it's not penetrating her it, you need to you need to stop watching her and watch yourself you need to open up yourself and get yourself together and as far as these masculines um i don't know if you're playing mental games with this particular uh female um energy but if all i know is that if either one of y'all uh don't speak up either one of y'all don't do what y'all supposed to do you're gonna miss out on the opportunity because this female is going places. This female is blessed. This female is destined for success. And even if you was to try to throw a ripple in the water, it's not gonna do anything but smooth out because we have, okay, Sagittarius energy. They, they just showed me. Balance is already being restored for this um, female energy. So any conflict and chaos that might be projected, confusion, uh, manipulation of any type, to try to throw her off or I'm, I'm really getting that somebody is trying to knock this female energy um feminine energy off her pedestal and it's not going to work she's not coming off of her throne for nobody <laughs> so i mean you basically like i said again wasting time effort and energy on bullshit it's not going to work she's still going to rock out of her loving energy she's still going to be nurtured she's still going to mind, mind her own business she's still going to stay in her own lane and she's still she's still going to stay focused you guys that's in the back that's doing all of this that's watching her trying to figure out her moves and all of this mind your fucking business stay in your lane why don't you learn and apply it to yourself so that you can elevate and do what's best for you and stop trying to live off of somebody else you, you copying off her hairstyles her hair color the way she looked you can never be her you will never be her i'm talking to a feminine energy this is a copycat i'm talking to you will never be me you will never be anyone you will be who you are supposed to be and you cannot be who you are supposed to be living through someone else's life or eyes even if even if it, i'm i'm even pulling the mother's energy a mother is jealous of this feminine because she is not paying this chaos or this conflict any attention and this mother figure i don't if, she, if she's a uh, queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio it doesn't matter she even has libra in her chart 
even Sagittarius. I'm pulling from your energy as I'm talking and you're still watching. Why don't you go pray and meditate and get out of my ass and learn how to live for your fucking self? Because you're not going to do anything but set yourself up for failure. You're going to be in mental and emotional conflict. If you do not stop trying to copy people and trying to be like them, your obsession is toxic. It's low vibrational. And the only thing that you will be manifesting, okay, because it is Lion's Gate today, 8-8. Eight, eight. You will just be manifesting someone to do that shit to you. And no one will take you seriously at all. You will be looked at as a fucking joke. Because, sis, you are a clown. Whoever you are, you're a fucking clown. You need to take all that damn makeup off your face. Start nurturing yourself, loving yourself, and stop looking for the love to be in a, in a different image of someone else that you're trying to implicate. And you will never be able to implicate. You're not God. You did not make this woman. She was made. And because she accepted her destiny, she accepted her following, she accepted what was meant for her, she's not going to pay you any mind because you're redundant to her. Okay? So, again, collective, I'll be back with some more messages. And for this female that is stalking um, this other female, you're a clown. All right? Go wash your face. And put some Neutrogena on. Work on your acne just like I work on mine. You know, love yourself. Work on your skin. Work on your hair. Make your hair grow. Stop trying to fucking figure out what the hell I'm doing or the next individual is doing. Because you're actually aggravating my spirit. And I'm definitely about to tell my ancestors to come pay you a visit and whoop your ass on something traumatic. Because if you've been, if you've been projecting ill wills towards me or any other females that have their own platform of their looks working mirror magic and, and glamour spells and all that other shit I'm gonna know exactly who you are you know why because your skin is gonna be fucked up really bad your hair is going to be fucked up or you're either gonna wear a wig a lace front or a head scarf because you're not gonna want me to see that your edges has been jump ship okay and you're gonna be overweight and your health is going to be at risk. Your teeth are going to be dingy and orange. Letting me know that your enamel has, has been weakened and low. Because you either talk too much shit about people. You drink too fucking much. Or you're eating the wrong fucking thing. Or you're chewing pills, bitch. Like, get your shit the fuck together. And I'm going to just tell it like it is. I'm very nice and nurturing. But I will put you in your fucking place. Okay, so again, collective, have a great afternoon. Stay blessed, stay up, enjoy Lionsgate, think positive. Don't be around anybody that's negative. If you get that lower vibration feel, 1331, as I said that, it might be significant for someone. Uh, yeah, eight, abundance is coming to you. Whoever you are, you're working extremely hard. The divine sees you and you are destined for success, baby. And I'm pushing you all the way. All right. So have a good day, collective. And I will talk to you guys later.